And I pretended so well for so long that I managed to fool myself into thinking it was the truth, rather than the act, the pretense. Now I managed to fool some other people along the way. There were some other people, the people that had gone off to find themselves, and had done some work on themselves, they saw through my mask, they saw through my pretense. But I actually didn't. And then when my life crashed, at around about age 29, and in a relatively short space of time I lost my marriage, my home, and my possessions, the effect of that was the effect of going wreck and pulling the mask away. It is what people talk about when they say they have a paradigm shift. It's a total paradigm shift in that the mask is pulled away and you get to see clearly who you are. It was at the time the most painful thing I dealt with. It was more painful seeing the truth of who I was and that I was a fake and that for most of my life I'd been faking it. That was more painful than actually the breakdown in my marriage, losing my home or my possessions. It was also the greatest blessing. Because once you can see what isn't working, well that's the biggest part of the game in actually putting it right. But if you are blind, if you are unaware of what's not working, if you are blind to certain behaviours and attitudes and beliefs that you hold, well then you just continue in the process and continue to create challenges for yourself. Never really being aware of where those challenges stem from. And I found myself some 15 years ago sat on a rock on the beach at Ventnor, which is my hometown, contemplating this situation I was in and acknowledging the truth of how I'd been through the majority of my adult life. And as I thought back through the situations and circumstance of my life, I started to observe something really interesting. I noticed that while I had been putting on a mask, an act, a front, faking it for the majority of the time, to cover up how insecure and unsure of myself I was, there were actually specific times, points, situations in my life when I hadn't. I hadn't been pretending, I hadn't put on the mask, I hadn't been trying to impress anybody, win anybody's favour, I was just being me, just being myself, my true self.